everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins. We are on the final stretch of the game, at least when it comes to side content. As a matter of fact, I hope I will be able to finish it all today. And for that purpose, again, I have been making some preparations off camera. Basically, I have visited every minor location on the map. By minor, I mean non-shiny. Um, Luckily, there's this function where you can um, disable all the um, completed locations and only show the uncompleted ones. So I've been going all over the map to see if I missed any fort or treasure and I've already dealt with all of that. So all that's left now are a few um, shiny locations, for example. There's one over here. I'm pretty sure that's a stone circle. Um, and then we have two more down here um, in the white desert oasis where I'm currently at. Um, I'm going to assume that this is another stone circle and this over here is an elephant ring. At least from, from the looks of it, it looks like one of these elephant arenas. Speaking of which, there obviously is still um, this elephant arena over here that I haven't finished. And finally, there's one more shiny landmark um, near the Great Sphinx, this one, but I believe I can't currently get there. It has something to do with that weird mechanism we found below the Sphinx, I'm sure. So my plan for today is basically to focus on finishing the quest that I have, which is um, continue the Fulakitai quest, uh, find the two missing stone circles, and then this quest um, wherever this may lead me, I have to find more uh, cards to destroy. And after I finish these quests, and if there's still time left, I may want to go and fight some elephants. We'll see about that. And if I don't have the time to do it, I will do it off camera because I would like to uh, continue with a main mission in the next episode if possible. But yeah, I guess we're going to check out uh, the little island over here first. Um, I mean, you can already see from, from over here that it's probably a stone circle. So, yeah, let's, let's finish that first. And I've seen a few bandits nearby when I load up the game, but I think they've more or less vanished. Yep, that's a stone circle, all right. So, what kind of deity does this belong to? The Great Twin Stone Circle. Okay, let's do it. Yep, surely looks like twins. Alright, I'm going to look for the constellation and you can talk, Bayek. Papa, you know how you're Egyptian and mother is Greek. What if Egypt and Greece go to war? Greeks and Egyptians do not hate each other. We are all the same. It feels like they do. A priest in the temple school said Greeks were destroying Egypt. He was wrong to say that. There is good and bad in everyone. You are the child of both Egypt and Greece. You are proof they do not hate each other. All right, I think I found it. Ah, the great twins. To the Greeks, they are twin brothers. To Egyptians, they are he goats that rise from the underworld, bringing pestilence and protection. Even the gods have two sides. All right, I'm guessing he's finished talking, so let's align the stars. Well, they do not look like goats in that representation, though. <laughs> the great twins. Okay. So, that's only one stone circle left, and I'm pretty sure where to find it. 
But I will check out um, the other landmark nearby and I'm pretty certain it's going to be another elephant arena. So let's go and let's confirm my suspicion. Hideout of Herr Wennefer. Okay, but uh, judging from the symbol, it is indeed an elephant arena. So, suspicions confirmed. Not exactly sure where the entrance is, but <laughs> like I said, um, I will I will do some elephant fighting if there's time at the end of this episode. I mean, as a matter of fact, this over here might have been the entrance. Didn't really look like a gate, but maybe it is. Let's let's confirm this too. No, this is not an entrance. Well, there's the elephant. Oh, and I see the gate's actually over there. I do wonder though if I can just jump inside the arena in order to start the battle. But okay, now that we made sure that this is indeed what I think it is, um, we're going to leave it and maybe we will come back later today. But um, how about we go and finish the final stone circle? This one's over here. Um, well, I guess the closest fast travel spot would actually be the temple over here. So we can cross that off our list soon. And there it is. Our final stone circle. Although, by the way, um, for the record, I have also finished all um, the papyrus puzzles. That took a really long time. I mean, some of them are easy, but a few are actually kind of difficult. So it took me uh, quite some time to find them all. And this is just not good footage for you know an episode, so I did it all off camera. And most of the treasures weren't really that interesting. And I didn't get like any kind of special reward for finishing them all, so there's that. But yeah, let's uh, take care of the stone circle now. Right, I'm going to look for the constellation while you talk. Papa, how do you know if you're in love? Why, Kim? Do you think you are in love? I don't know. Love should feel good. You and Mama are the only ones I love. <laughs> but this hurts. Sometimes I can't even think straight. <laughs> that sounds like love. It could be. I was once like that. <laughs> I'm very sorry, son. He seems to be a bit young for that, but okay. The scorpion goddess, Serket. She protected Iset and Horus from jealous Set. She still protects against poisonous animals. But not love. <laughs> against that, there is no protection. Not even the gods can. Apparently so. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the correct one. It. There we go, Scorpio. That is actually my zodiac sign. And I guess this should finish the quest. That is the last one. I can take all the shards back to Siwa now. All right, so I, I collected these shards from all the different stone circles. Find and... Uh, hang on a second, let me have a look at the quest again. Um, find and interact with a stone circle in Siwa. Okay, so I have to go back to that stone circle. Sure, I guess I'm just going to continue with this one before we take care of the other quests. 
Um, let's see. Right, it's the one over here. So, again, I'm going to travel to the nearest viewpoint. And I'll bring you back once I've reached that stone circle. And here we are, back where it all began. And this is a really small stone circle compared to the others, now that I uh, see it again. But okay, let's let's see what we can do with these shards or stones or whatever. Oh, I think I didn't do it properly, huh? I interacted with the stone circle again, but I was supposed to do something about the shards. Yeah, I think this is not what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yeah, it's somewhere over here. There we go. I'm going to find every stone circle, the Sphinx and pyramids too. And I'll find my place. Well, I have done all of that. Your name, Hemu, means Egypt. Like Egypt, you are forever changed. The stars are yours now. And your place is with them. Okay, we have fulfilled our promise to Hemu. We brought back shards from all the different stone circles. I hope you're happy with that. But yeah, that was a nice little scene. And we could finish the quest in this particular place. Um, yeah, so that is that is the first quest done that I wanted to uh, finish today. Um, but we still have more. Also, I definitely need to get rid of some stuff at some point. I have far too much crap in my inventory. I also need to upgrade my weapons again at some point. Um, I definitely want to upgrade them before I uh, start like the end game um, of the main mission. Um, okay, let's see. I guess we're going to uh, continue with this one next. Find Abba in the fishing village. Right, we need to find out what to do with these keys um, that they gave us, right? So, let's see. Where do I have to go for this one? Okay, it's all the way over here. And there actually is like a faster location right next to it, so that's convenient. This must be the sad fishing village the Filak has mentioned. <laughs> it is, well, kind of sad, I suppose. And, um, well, there's a constant danger of animal attacks, as, as you can see. Don't worry, I will, I will take care of this. There you go. Here's the crocodile for you. Now, let's see, where... Is that woman they've been talking about? Alright. She's right over here. That woman has a warrior's bearing. She could be the one spoken of in the letter. Let's find out. Halt! Who are you? A man who respects his elders. I know all the warrior castes. You speak like a Magi. I am one. And I seek your key. Why would I give it to you? when I refused it to my brothers. Your brothers are dead. <laughs> they had orders to execute me. These are hard times we live in. Prove yourself as a protector, and I will give you the one thing I have left, the key. Crocodiles plague our village. You will find them roaming east of here. Yeah, I noticed. There's a lot of crocodiles around. Mm -hmm. Kill the crocodiles near the fishing village. That doesn't seem to be that difficult of a task. Um, okay. Some over here. I've already been there, apparently. I mean, I've been to pretty much every landmark by now, but... Yeah, let's let's go kill some crocodiles. How hard can it be? I 
mean I might want to start by killing a few of them from a distance. Well, that was a terrible shot. Okay, I think it's one crocodile less. All right. How many more crocodiles do we have here? There's one over there. That one's already dead, apparently. Oh, um... I, I guess I should kill this one over here as well. Alright, let's do it. You're welcome. And, um... This one over here has to die as well. Okay. I'm not sure if that's all of them. Uh, apparently not. Oh, I see. There's like a quest marker over here. Sorry. Gotta kill you too. I need that key. To hack you into pieces. Um. Oh well, apparently that's still not all of them. Alright. Let's, let's continue. And that's the last of them. Alright. Again, this wasn't too difficult. Fighting the Falakitai was more difficult than killing these crocodiles. So, I feel that by killing all of them, I've already proven myself enough, but I guess this has the additional use of keeping the villagers safe. And yeah, there's, there's another predator attack somewhere. Yep, there we go. May as well continue killing more crocodiles. There we go. Now, let's uh, talk to her again. Uh, your village should be safe from crocodiles for a time. Good. You know, I always admired the Magi. I wish I could have been one of you. There are so few of us left. The Filakis were always short on honor. <laughs> Here is the key to my warrior's chest. Make something of my legacy in this wretched world. We'll find the chest sunk okay. in Mother Nile. A little south of here. I will I will go and look for it. I can already see the quest marker. So let's see what this warrior's treasure is. Alright, let's find the location. Um, there's a bunch of people in the area. I'm not sure if this has any relation to my, my quest. Maybe a few other people that are trying to find the treasure. But I might be able to avoid them by just giving them a wide berth. I'm only here for the chest. All right, here we go. I found it. Four keys, four locks. <laughs> now I will see this great warrior's treasure. Okay. Right, it's it's an outfit. It actually did say so in the quest that it's going to be an outfit. I will have a look at the outfit in a second. Do I wanna do I wanna wear this? Let's see. I mean it's just like cosmetic, it doesn't have any actual function, but if it looks good, I think I'm going to wear it. And it does look good. 
Again, it, it doesn't look like it's completely like fitting for the time and the surroundings, but I think it's close enough. So I'm going to keep this one and I might be wearing this for the rest of the game. So yeah, that is another quest done. My, my quest list is getting shorter and shorter. So I suppose uh, we will have a look at this one next. Um, I need to destroy more of these bribes, right. I think one of them is somewhere in Alexandria, or well, slightly outside of it. So I guess we are going to travel to Canopos and then try to catch up with it. Because it looks like it's on a road, so it's probably moving in between different locations. But we've already found out that I can just um, use arrows to destroy the cart, so... I just have to get close enough to fire a few arrows at it. Alright, um, I think I found it. Yep, it's over here. I hope it's not moving away from me. I mean, currently it's not moving at all, so... That works for me too. And I guess I will try to... Shoot a few arrows at it first. I mean, once I've done that, they will probably... Come here and... Try to kill me. Oh, but that's fair enough. Right. Gotta deal with this guy first. Well, I should I should really use my other overpower when it comes to like the really big and heavy guys. This kind of overpower is mostly suited for lots of smaller enemies. Right. Did he just say die, you corpse? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> if I'm a corpse, then I can't die again. Right? Alright, now let's use this overpower. There we go. That's much better. Alright, I gotta... Gotta break through his shield here. Let's use a heavy attack. There we go. Alright. Um... Have I already destroyed the cart or has it just... Well, it's partially intact, I guess, so... Let's make sure this one's destroyed as well. There. One more. Okay, so I have to destroy all the pottery on top of it in order to destroy the bribes. That leaves one more cart to be destroyed and this one's... All the way down here. Um, might be somewhere inside this uh, quarry. So again, I will travel to the nearest location and I will try to catch up with it. All right, it looks like the cart is indeed inside the quarry, so I will have to get a little bit closer. Um, let's see, where exactly is it? Okay, um, well, must be somewhere, somewhere behind this, this rock, right? But again, if I, if I find a good position, I might be able to just fire a few Hurry! arrows at it. Out of the road. Okay, they are just some random soldiers. <coughs> Now, let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know. What would be the best best spot to infiltrate it? Maybe from over here? That over here should be a good, a good viewpoint from where I can <coughs> take a few shots at the card, I hope. Alt. Hold there. Yeah, let's not get too close to the guards. I mean, I'm not yet in restricted territory, but you never know. 
He still might become aggressive. I think I can use this to get up, right? Yes, I can. Alright. And let's use it again. Now, this is looking a lot better. Uh, best not to draw attention here. On this little tower. So, can I see the card from here? No, it it's it's really inside like one of these caves apparently. So much for my plan to take some shots at it from a distance. It's not going to work out quite as easily as I thought. Well, the question is, are there any guards nearby. Well, a few. Uh-oh, and one of them is coming up here, apparently. Well, I guess he has to die first. I will need a guided arrow for that. There we go. Oh, and now... This guy is going to find him. Alright. So, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely below me. Alright. Let's take care of this guy. And, well, at least it looks like there's no one inside this cave that can become a danger to me. And one more. So much for their bribery. <laughs> Very well. I've done what I can. Now I will see Otis in Alexandria. He may have found out what this is all about. Okay, so I still have to continue. This quest, meet Otis in Alexandria. He resides in a small house south of the royal palace. Okay, let's do it. All the way back to Alexandria. This is a large map. It takes a long time to scroll all the way to the top. Let's travel to this location and let's find this guy. What are all these soldiers doing here? Oh dear, well, um, this can't be good, right? Yeah, there's a bunch of soldiers all around, all around the, the place where I'm supposed to meet this guy. So, I may have to find a different way to get inside. Let's maybe get on top of it and get a better idea what's going on here. This area is off limits. I mean, it could be a trap, or maybe they are here to arrest him. Either way, it looks like I may have to to kill all the soldiers. I want to find this guy, right? Okay, um, I mean, most of them are just normal soldiers. They shouldn't provide much resistance, I suppose. Um... Stay Let's start with this guy, maybe. What has happened here? Uh-oh. Is this Otis? I don't know. Let's see if we can find anyone else. Probably have to go down and kill the other soldiers. This body. Oh, I fear it is Otis. Oh, okay. So they have, they have killed him. Well, let's kill the rest of them. And then we will have a look at, at Otis's body. Okay, I think that's all of them, right? So, yeah, um, he looks pretty dead. Wearing the robes of a scribe. 
Ah, it is indeed Otis. Poor man. Signs of torture. Someone tried to make him talk. Okay, so now we have to find out what exactly they were trying to find out about him, hmm? Letters and papers from the royal palace. Ah, nothing of use here. Right. Oh. Oh, there are some rebels over there. Well, that is really not my concern at the moment. Of course, I may have to kill them if I want to continue to investigate this place, which is Scrolls unfortunate. Scrolls about the palace budget. Nothing of interest. Okay, again, nothing that relates to my current quest. Oh, they even killed the wife. Poor girl. One of the servants. Oh, it's servant. That doesn't make it any better. Wearing the robes of a scribe. Ah, it is indeed Otis. Poor man. Signs of torture. Someone tried to make him talk. All right, it looks like we have more clues upstairs. This is Otis's blood. He tried to flee. Well, who wouldn't? And yeah, another dead person. They were determined to leave no witnesses. But again, nothing of that really helps me at the moment. He was attacked in his sleep. Oh, great. I mean, I have the habit of attacking people in their sleep as well, so maybe I'm not one to complain about that. This jar has something in it. Well, what is it? This jar has something in it. Can't you just look inside the jar? Do I really have to destroy it? In order to Hidden find notes. out what's inside? Must be important. Okay, there we go. Otis's notes. I hope you won't have to read this because if you do, it means I'm probably dead. I am in too deep and I've compromised myself. I do believe I've found what this is all about and it's bigger than I had imagined. An ambitious Roman general named Rufio plans to create a network of Egyptian and Greek collaborators throughout the country. Their goal is to present Rufio as a savior and not a conqueror in order to invade Egypt from within. Fortunately, if you've taken out his allies already, you've cut his most valuable Egyptian connections. He most likely will abandon his quest. Who knows what he'll try next? Please tell Aya I have repaid my debt to her. I wish we could have met you and I, Otis. Well, you I did guess fine it work it. to gather this information, Otis. As you traverse the Duat, I swear to you, if I get the chance, I will make certain this General Rufio pays. So the question is, is there going to be a chance to take care of this general? I mean, the quest is completed. But I guess there might be a follow-up uh, for this. And we did get some daggers, so I guess um, that's nice. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look at the map again. I, I would say if there's another quest that popped up now that we finish this one... We may want to continue with it. I'm not seeing any though, so if there is like a follow-up to this, it's not available at the moment, or at least I'm not seeing it anywhere. <laughs> so that really only leaves... Um, well, hang on a second. There's actually another thing that um, I want to check out. There's still that one undiscovered landmark near the Sphinx. Of course, it is possible that I have to go there like as part of the main mission. So I can't go there unless I progress that story until the end. I mean, it would be like a fitting place for the final of the game. But just to make sure, I will go back there and check out if maybe um, I've missed something or maybe I can do something in that place now. And if I can't, I guess we're going to fight some elephants. But um, let's... Let's go back to the Sphinx and have a closer look at it. Hmm. 
The Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. <laughs> You've already been here. What did you expect? But yeah, if I remember correctly, um, that hidden entrance was... A hidden entrance? At the back. How long has this been here? Well, at least since we've been here the last time. Probably a lot longer. Now, let's try to find our way back to that underground room. Ah, a dead end. Does not make sense. Or well, there must be a way forward. There most certainly is. Also, didn't I light some of the um, braziers while I was here the last time? <laughs> I thought that I did. Because now I can't can't find my way through here anymore. Oh, by a moon. What is this? Okay. We are back. And yeah, this has definitely changed <coughs> compared to the last time I was here. And now I can interact with it. We have all these lights open now and crystals inside them. Um, I probably don't need this anymore. Huh. <coughs> Interesting. Okay, well, let's um, interact with whatever I can interact with and let's see what happens. My assumption is that the lights will show me like a place on this map, Indiana Jones style, but let's let's find out. Uh-huh. Something is happening. Oh, it's actually opening up a door. That is not what I expected, but... <laughs> this is um, not Egyptian. No, it's not. You're, you're right about that. It's not Egyptian. Oh dear. This is going down very, very deep, but um, I guess we're going to go down anyway. Alright, it's another precursor site. That should be our final landmark, I think. Okay, Esfet Unma Po. Hmm. Oh, we don't need my torch here. There might be some stuff for me to pick up. It's oh, it's it's more crystals. Of course, it is. And there's probably some kind of mechanism here that I can activate, right? <coughs> Let's find it. Okay, this has got to be it. 50! That's a lot more than in any of the previous ones. Do I have enough? Apparently I do. Alright, Let's see. Retransmission, segment 6. Requiring contemporaneity. It has been 109 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Wake up. Not from a dreamless sleep or an absence of light, but from a reality that will soon cease to be. Wake up. This chapter is unstoppable. And yet, the greatest revolutions sometimes originate from the confines of impossibility, do they not? Change your mind, subvert your perception, stop this world, bend it into something new. Destiny is not without irony. Here I am, imploring a lesser version of myself. 
to do what I could never do. In this timeless moment, you and I are a bridge, both of us from different eras meeting halfway at the narrowing of the hourglass in this ocean of sand. It is not enough to tell time. You must learn time. To work with your shielly misses a slight, and in so doing, escape the inescapable. Fill in the blanks, the ones hiding between words, between worlds. Find the spaces that we could not erase, the variables that ended up erasing us. If you do not, they will erase you as well. Time told of a story that ended with us, and now it tells of a story that ends with you. Once upon a time, a new story will begin. After the functions which run our days have scattered into an array of random numbers. We found solace in order. We thought it would help us rule the world. We were wrong. Order never served us. It has kept us within the code, within the boundaries. We were tricked into thinking we were the ones writing the rules when they were in fact guiding us to our conclusion. You need to transgress. You of all people understand the value of disobeying. Take an unexpected turn away from the path that is drawn straight ahead of you. The Anus was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see. Understanding genetic memories, an eye into history. But the Anus bears a fatal flaw. It follows the rules from those who embrace order, just as we do. It allows you to witness, but not alter. Hmm. Your animus is different, as is the mind that imagined it. It could escape the code. It could do that leap and make possible a decision that defies the order of things that are. Wake up. Be the chaos that comes to be. Gods are just like you and me. Remember, nothing is real. Everything is permitted. Well, there we go. The Assassin's Creed, quite literally. I guess this is where Bayek uh, heard it from. Hmm? sort of anyway but yeah this was kind of interesting because you know it was talking about order and disobeying the order which is kind of what is at the heart of the conflict between the Templars and the Assassins and this message basically told us to disobey the order at least occasionally so it was kind of I don't know an encouragement for the Assassins in a sense I guess of course we don't exactly know who is sending these messages I mean, it seems to me that they are sent by Isu in some form, but we don't know who exactly and why they're sending this and um, if they are specifically directed at us or someone else. I mean, previously the Isu have been speaking to Desmond, so now they may be talking to Lila and not um, Bayek in particular. So interesting, but still a lot of questions that are unanswered. But yeah, let's leave the tomb again. And it's going to put us right next to the Sphinx. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I think I have finished all the locations, at least um, the ones in the main game. There's obviously still the DLC. So yeah, um, all of this should be done. <laughs> Um, I mean, there's still the elephant arenas down here. They are obviously not done yet. But 
The episode is getting kind of long, so I'm not sure if I have time for another elephant fight. I may want to go uh, and quickly edit the material that I have recorded, and then I will find out how long the episode is and whether we have time for some elephant fight. So I'll make a quick cut here, and you will know in a second whether or not there's going to be another fight today. All right, I'm done editing all my footage and, well, the episode is actually long enough to be an episode. However, I think there might be just enough time for at least one elephant battle. And if we're going to have just one, we may as well go for the more difficult one. At least I assume the one with the two elephants is the more difficult one. So we're going to do this. I upgraded my gear, so hopefully I won't get destroyed quite as easily as last time. Let's find out. All right, here we go. Two elephants at once. I guess we're going to start with another overpower. And we will try to avoid its front. Oh, and they're throwing like fire bombs at me. This is making the whole thing obviously significantly more unpleasant. <laughs> well, maybe standing in the water is not such a bad idea. It maybe help me to uh, get rid of the fire in case I get hit. And I'm completely going to focus on one elephant for now. So that we have one less elephant to deal with, hopefully. <laughs> Oh boy, um, careful. Avoid, avoid the front. Attack from behind. You know how it works. Just have to, just have to get behind it. Alright. Oh no, nope, do not, do not attack me with your stupid arrows. Yeah, this guy is apparently using arrows. This is, this is even worse because it's really difficult to avoid them. Got a light. All right, um, apparently the elephant doesn't want to come close, so I'm going to use a few arrows. All right, that's another overpower. Oh boy, um, what are you doing, elephant? Are you afraid of me? <laughs> but again, attacking from the front doesn't do much damage with the arrows either. All right, here we go. I have another overpower available. Oh, nope, nope. Let's get away from those tusks. All right. The one elephant is almost down. There we go. And now we can focus on the second one. At least... We won't have to worry about the other elephant firing bombs at us while we are fighting this one. Oh, nope, nope. It's, it's uh, trying to charge me. Yep, this is apparently what he likes to do. Get a bit of distance and then charge me in full force and all I can do is try to evade it. All right. Now we're in a good position here. We can do some damage. We got an overpower available. Nice. And now it's trying to charge me again. should maybe use these arrows because they do significantly more damage. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 they're trying to throw bombs at me again. All right, there we go. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that was, that was somewhat more um, doable compared to my first encounter with these elephants. But it makes me sad. Look at these majestic creatures. And I have to kill them because of these stupid 
people. Oh, great, I'm getting hallucinations again. You know what? I'm going to poison you just because I had to kill these elephants because of you. <laughs> okay, yeah, I would say that's all for today. There's still that one other elephant, but I will just um, take care of that off camera. And in the next episode, we will go back to our main mission and probably do it all the way until the end of the main game. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.